everybody, it's Valerie from Valerie Wallace Fine Arts here in my basement studio in Orono, Maine, 0473, and it's Friday, June 19th, or Juneteenth, and um, uh, it's at 8 o'clock, that's what it is, it's 8 o'clock, and we're going to do a drawing today, I'm calling this the shoreline, and I think the idea is that it's um, the ocean shoreline, Perhaps on the rocky coast of Maine, but it if you, like it, yeah. it, you know, if you want it to be a lake where you are in Wisconsin, Wisconsin, or something like that, then you go right ahead. I think it's applicable to many, many parts of the world. All right, um, we're, I'm going to start with this gold, and I'm going to work in color on the top. I'm going to work in black and white down here. I'm going to use a charcoal because the pencil doesn't really show up, which is why charcoal is. Um, um, you know, superlative to graphite when at all possible. The thing that's tricky about this picture is, I think, the rocks. Okay, I'm not a great person. I haven't, I'm not great at drawing rocks, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to show you a way to do it that I hopefully will work. Okay, so don't panic. But the one thing is that to make them look like they go back in the distance a little bit, It'll be helpful if you make this one really big so that you can make these a little bit smaller as you go along, okay? That will be helpful, okay? And also the bottom of rocks is flat because the water, unless it's in a rolling wave, um, settles flat. Flat? Horizontal? Whatever. Okay, let's do it. Let's start here. If you have a yellow or a gold or a brown or whatever, we're going to draw a line for the beach, okay? So, you know, this is too low. But this is too high, somewhere in between Goose and Beach. Okay, so just draw a line across. Just like that. Easy. We are on our way. We're almost done. Okay. Charcoal, I'm going to go down here. I have a smaller piece of paper, but I'm going to bring it in a little bit. Okay. All right. We're going to sketch in some rocks. Okay. We're oh. going to use, um, Jesus, dark, oh, oh, yeah. oh, no, no, no. oh, Tim. oh, Tim's coming, Veronica's here, and Tim's here, uh, I want to draw in the rocks a little bit, we're obviously going to put a lot of dark brown on there, what's going on? I just was making sure that no one was saying anything, Daphne says she misses you. Oh, I miss you too, I'm not here. Um, so don't think too, don't worry too much about it. They don't have to be like this, but I'll get, we'll do something roughly like this design. So first of all, I, like I said, I want a big one. And if you, like, are trying to figure it out, I mean, this size of this rock is at least as big as, the, as your beach. It's not bigger, depending on how big your beach is. So say that's my beach. That means that rock's coming up to like here, okay? Don't look at the, brown, the dark brown part. Kind of see it as a big... Okay, and this goes, this part right here where it hits the, the um, beach is like the middle of your paper. So when you bring that over, bring that rock way over like that. Okay? Nice and big. Like I said, because then we can make the other ones a little smaller and that will be helpful. All right. Um, I like to just limit what you're seeing, okay? Let's not look at any of the other rocks. We're going to do this one next. Okay, so that goes, <laughs> crack one open, okay, that's right up here, and it kind of comes down like this, okay, so the trees are going to come out of where this rock is, so if you're, you know, way down low, you might want to add a couple more rocks, because you want to be up here, if your rock is up here, you're not going to have much tree, you're about halfway up, okay, um, let me put one down here. They're very adaptable, okay? Kind of about halfway down the side of this rock right here, there's a couple of, like, kidney bean ones, okay? So we'll make kind of a blob here and kind of a blob here, okay? They don't have to be like this. There's no special way... I mean, when you've got brown things by the water and the sand and the trees, everybody knows they're rocks, okay? What else is it going to be, right? What else could it be, Veronica? Mm. Poop. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 That's from your job. Okay. Somewhere 
like here, make a make a horizontal line like this and give yourself a bump on there right there. It could be both. It's a dog park. <laughs> be very tiny trees then. <laughs> They're just saplings. All right. So if you're not looking at any of the other ones, we just did one right here. We're going to put one. This one gets pretty close to the opposite side of your paper. So you have a flat line in here, maybe like that. Flat line, is that what I need to think? Uh -huh. I feel like there's yeah. a better I've already run out of room. Horizontal. Okay. How are we doing? You guys with me on that part? Yeah. All right. These are the two you have left. Okay. One sort of the big rock, which is which is just a little bit above the one you did here. So you're up about here, and you have kind of a slope. Maybe it goes down. There's there's going to be some kind of connection in there, and then this one is kind of neat because it kind of has that kind of points up. So you put a little. Just don't make it too big. If you make it really big, then you're taking away that opportunity to have things look um, like they go off into the space by just having things look smaller. Okay, it's not obviously it could be enormous, you know, but it's just a trick. It's just an illusion, an optical illusion. All right, so I'm up here. I'm gonna go here. Bring that down a little bit. All right, folks, I made that one kind of big. Okay, good. <laughs> So good. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna come back to that. All right. The next thing I will have you do is we have to put we have to do a little bit of sketching with the tree because why? Because the sky. Yeah. <laughs> well, not exactly the sky, but <laughs> okay. because of because of this and because of the water. That if we go ahead and we draw this all the way across, it's gonna go through our trees. And if you're like me and you're using pastels, then you're gonna have a pro problem because it's just gonna be too thick. And the same thing's gonna happen with the water. So we have to kind of suggest where it is so we'll know where to stop this and where to stop that. Okay? So get. <laughs> Feedback that's like five minutes old. Okay, so I am gonna get a. Um, what do we call Olive. Olive green. And I'm going to use that to just kind of figure out where I want these trees to be. So this tree is about, well, it's a little taller than from the bottom of my rock to this one. So that'll give you a rough idea if you're on the right track, proportionally. So that would be nice and tall. Okay. So I'm we'll have a line. Get pretty close to the edge. There's sort of another tree here, but it, you'll find that it'll be easier if you kind of just have two. So when you do this first line, get ready, pretty, ugh, pretty close to the edge of your paper, and then do another one maybe right in here. Okay. So what happens with the fir tree? I like this one. It's very spin. When you paint, you can add this all on top afterwards because you're adding like a dark color of paint. Yeah, if you're if you happen to be painting, what you want to do is once you know you set this in here, then work from your sky and your your trees over here and your blue, and then come back and add the trees. But since we're drawing, we have to account for them now. What do you need? I was just seeing what color green you have. Uh, there's another one like this. It's oh. just kind of small. It says sap green on it, but I don't like that. No. Okay. okay, so I, what's happening is, you know, you're having, I don't know if you can see these, but, you know, you're having a tree that's in, that's triangular, okay? But don't draw it like that because you don't want to. So this one, what happens is you kind of go one way and you kind of go the other way, but you kind of double it up. Swoop, 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 all the way down, okay? 
you're going to find is the lower part of this is absolutely dark, right? It's just a little bit at the top. We have a little bit of light that goes through, okay? We can, we'll come back and we'll deal with that a little bit more. But you can kind of sketch them in whatever way is your style. That's, that's how this painter did. V. Harmon, I don't know who it is. Um, but we don't need to do much more than that. But, and then it will wind up being a little thicker in the middle and a, a little thicker down in here, okay? So what I did was I made a little scoop, a little smile, and I went back and forth and back and forth. See it? And then I made that as bigger as I went down. And it go right over that other tree. Okay? I'll do it down here too. Nice tall line like this. It is um, Ru are Ruby and Alex watching? Well, I know Ruby and Daphne are. I don't know if Alex is watching. Alex probably has to work. Swoop, 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 to swoop, 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 Smile, 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 bigger smile, bigger smile, bigger, 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 bigger. There you go. I like it. Whew, I'm exhausted. Yeah. It's hot. So hot here in Maine today. We're having it very warm for us. Yes, 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 yes. How are you guys doing? Don't overdo. Mm. We're going to get back to it. Ah. Those trees look nice. Mm. Thanks. Yours, there's, yours are going down. Mine are going up. But Stu, um, let's let's do the green. Okay, pick something for a green, something light. And if you don't have a light green, find yourself a white or a uh, yellow or something like that to go with it. Let's see, because you want it to be light. Where's the one I was going to use? It's not bad. Maybe this one. So I have this little stub of this green. Um, you know, in this case, it's coming out of the side of the tree. I mean, you don't need a ton of sky, right? So it's okay to bring this horizon line up. That'll give you more to play with with the water, which is a lot fun. Somewhere in here, go across. And the, and what this is is what? What's this? Um, Veronica. The horizon of trees. They're trees. So that's the, the one thing about that kind of makes it seem a little bit like a lake. But it could be another island, like an MBI. Yeah, yeah. The one thing you might want to do is say that you want it to look more like um, a little island is to have a little gold, brown or whatever, right along the shoreline. Because then it will look like it has some rocks. Otherwise, it's like grass and water, and that looks a little more like that. Um, but the smaller you make it, the farther away it's going to look. So I might have to bring it into this tree a little bit. But. So try to keep that little, and you don't have to draw actual trees on there or anything. You just have to make a little line like that, okay? There we go. So I'm going to go around here. This one. So when I'm coloring, when I'm drawing something in black and white, ultimately it's like I took a picture of the scene in black and white. And if you want to be able to see what's in your black and white photo, you have to have some things that are white and some things that are really black and some things that are different shades of gray in between. And you have to put um, two um, contrasting values next to each other to make, make it so that the things you want to see, you can see. Okay, that's sort of the secret of drawing. It's not all about how carefully you can outline somebody's face. It's about how you're going to put it together with the shades of shadow. So it, this landscape is a very forgiving way to start learning all these, all these things. Okay, so the other thing I was going to do with my, um, with my trees back here is I'm going to put a little white on here. And you'll see that that will kind of soften that up. Because when you're at the coast, it's very, um, there's a lot of, moisture in the air and that makes things get foggy and look lighter okay so there we have it all right let's do the sky um this is a really really light shade of blue um most of the time the sky is pretty light so i would pick something pretty light um i have this 
this one right here, we're calling it Ultramarine, which I do not think that's Ultramarine. Mm -mm. That's not what I would call it. This is what I would call Ultramarine. But they're the professionals. Uh -huh. so anyway. This one? You could use this, though. It's just a gray or blue. So if I look at this picture, the only thing that I really need to color are these little, this little stripe here of blue and a little bit of blue down here. I have no sky. <laughs> you might have very I'll minimal sky. Um, so maybe I'll start up here. I'll give you mine in a second. You can use that. So I'm going to go across here a little bit, and then I'm going to think a little bit about a shape of a cloud. Ah, the, the pipes are weeping all over my picture. The pipes are weeping. I was like, what are the pipes? They just keep, what? they keep dribbling. So I, much condensation. Was I watered? Well, the coal was a dry uh, and water. Well, don't be underneath it. Oh, okay. You guys just have to get closer. Or, uh, or get okay. a towel. Just move your paper a little tiny bit. Nope. It's paper, not, the paper is the, the pipe is like, the, 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 the water isn't blowing in the wind. It's only dropping directly down. So if you're not on directly below it, it's not going to be on there. Okay. And then I'll piece in here. You know, I'm thinking, so I'm sort of thinking of a shape of a cloud, but instead of drawing an outline of it, I'm just like thinking about it. I'm just thinking about it and feeling it. And a lot of times, if, if you know that down near the horizon line, it gets very light. Here, you can have mine. I'm gonna put a little white on top. White on top. <laughs> yeah, at, at my regular classes, I get to play music. But I played music, I think the first or second one that I did, played the radio, and it got muted by YouTube. And I don't want to have that happen again, so I didn't ever do try it again. Not worth the risk. I really wasn't trying to take advantage of any of the artists. But, but you did. I am looking for, if somebody has music that they make and they want to put share it, I will play it during my show if it's okay. My show. Like a small wedding? You are a small wedding. <sighs> oh, oh, well, I gotta do the end of black and white. So, when you're done tonight, I would oh. so enjoy, I haven't, I think people are getting exhausted and exhausted of being on the computers and stuff, but um, I was getting a lot of people sharing their pictures with me and just so you know, I still really enjoy that. I'm not tired of it. So if you feel like you'd like to share it with me or share it on the, you can you can take a picture and put it right below the video too. And it's really fun to see how things come out differently, especially with a landscape, things are very different. So like right here, um, this this black makes, makes my sky pretty dark, right? And you think, oh no, what are you gonna do? It's charcoal, there's nothing I can do. But there is something I can do. I can take my kneaded eraser, which looks like this, and it's a little, comes as a little gray uh, rectangle. And um, I'll take that in there, and I'll that, wiggle that around like that, and I'll lighten that right up. Make it lighter. It's pretty light, so I'm going to go pretty heavy-handed with that. Black all over that white. My ah, oh, I do not Here, you just might use the cloth. Um, maybe this one won't be for this one. Okay. All right, let's do the the water now. So what we'll do is we'll use a blue, um, a lighter blue, and then we'll go back and we'll do a little accenting with a darker blue. Okay. And uh, again, if you're a little light, maybe you don't have a bunch of different colors. 
If you go a little lighter in this area and a little darker down here, that will help to set that um, the trees there across the water. Okay. Um, and the other thing was, oh, I forgot to kind of cover this up, but if you want a little bit of white water around the rocks, you want to take the blue and save that space. And you can always color over it if you're not crazy about how it comes out. The thing that would happen is that around, you know, the rock, you might get a little sort of, um, you know, maybe a curl of white water like that. Um, you might have a little more like in this area between the rocks, something kind of like this. I don't know how mine's going to come out, but I'm going to draw it in there. It's way easier if you're painting, add it on top. And frankly, you know, even if you're drawing, if you want to, you can add white on top and you're done, right? You can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. Okay, something like that. And I'm going to start kind of light. And as much as you can, try to color your water in side to side. Okay, now the thing when I get to where I've drawn in this little white water, I don't want it to look like it's been outlined. I have these white you know, like blobs around the rocks. I want that to blend in. So you have to color right up closely to the edge of that line. Kind of like that. You won't have, it won't hurt to have a little white in there. Um, even if, even if um, it doesn't really look like white up at the top. Okay. Maybe put a little white over here like this. I just was thinking about being down here and having to report in May like, yeah, we're here tonight and now we're here today and it's snowing. Yeah. And we finally are at the point where it's 90. 94 degrees today? Is that what it was, 94 really? 94 degrees today. 96 yeah, in Caribou. So. 96 in Caribou? Hit a record, I think, somewhere in the county. Yeah, like 95 in Millinocket. Caribou yeah. was an all-time high. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. 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 When's the longest day of the year? I don't have Tomorrow. Any about it. I don't have to do anything. Ooh, I have to ooh. keep sweat free. Twenty, the twenty-first, right? Isn't the twenty-first? Um, yeah. Okay. It's over. The summer solstice. Then it's over. Yeah, it's over. Summer's over. Well, it means that. Uh, that's the longest day, and then things are going to start getting shorter again. I know. Again. I, I hate that. I know. Like, already? I know. I should have done some kind of sun and moon thing or something. Maybe I wasn't thinking. All right, a little of that. How are we coming? I Good? Know. I feel like I should have a joke or something. A joke? Veronica, I should have you do some impressions. No, no. You can't no, do any of your impressions. It's inappropriate. <laughs> People could be watching. <laughs> you're, a, you're a good mimic. I know. I have so many great ones. Great <laughs> lines. All right. You guys are coloring your water. Yeah. All right. Well, well, I guess while we're... Yeah. That's not what, that, what you wanted next. Yeah, well, yeah, let's just do it. I, 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 um, 
So I have this nice glue that I would call ultramarine glue, which they're calling, I don't know what they're calling, it's like out there. So there's, this again is somebody's painting, okay? Victoria, Victor, I don't know, but. Um, So that's different than Pearl and it's certainly different than if you were there and, or if you had a photograph, okay? So you're going to put these marks in there in a way that makes sense. I think for the most part, you want to keep the dark blue out of the upper part. You want to work that more down this area, okay? Too, too late for me, too. <laughs> well, you can always take some white and blend it in. The softer you make things um, up towards the horizon line, the more, um, you know, the, the things at the bottom will come forward. Okay. Oh, we don't want it soft everywhere? Whoops. Well, the, you want it any way that it's coming out because you're doing an excellent job. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, so you do that. Maybe you want a little, maybe you want some little ripples. I don't know what I want. A little bit there. Maybe a little extra in here. Yeah, we did this painting. Jeez, I think it was two summers ago. In Old Town. I don't think I, think I was, was even there. at Waterville then when we did it. So maybe it's longer ago than that. It's been a while. I'd love to see somebody who who painted it and drew it and see how it comes out. I don't think I was there. You don't? I don't think I've done this. I remember Bettina did a really good one. Of course she did. <laughs> I think that did Donna and Christina have one in, in their house put up? Maybe. maybe. Okay. That's good enough for me for now. So I now, um, what we want to do is we want to put some really dark brown. Um, if you have to use black because you don't have a dark brown, then then go for it. Um, I have this nice sepia, which is what I'm going to do. Because if you squint your eyes at this picture, okay, that's how you can really, everything simplifies and you can see how incredibly dark these rocks are. And this is the part that's going to make them have shape, okay? And you might look at it and think like, this is crazy, this is too dark. But when you step away from your picture, that's when it's going to make sense. And um, so be bold about this, all right? And for the most part, where is all of the dark color in these? Yeah, right along the bottom, right where the, either the rock meets the water or the sand, or maybe when it's up against another one, okay? So they're really pretty dark. And there was one other thing. And so if you're if you have a dark color, that's one thing, but you also have to bear down and you know really color, okay? You can't just tickle the paper and expect it to come out nice and dark. Alright, so and and it is um, like I said, I am not a great rock painter or drawer or whatever, okay? It is not something that I have really practiced very much. Um, but if you can Rocks can be curvy, but they also can be kind of like jagged. So, um, but they're not, um, what's the word? They're like not symmetrical. They're uneven. That's probably the one thing. So if everything you did has a perfect little, sometimes, you know, they're like that down at, um, at Thunderhole where they've rolled in and they're all perfectly round, like a whole beach of round mm -hmm. rocks. But when you see them on the actual shoreline, there's usually a lot of jaggediness to it. So if you can think kind of jagged when you're putting this on here, that will help. All right? And also there's just no space between them. I know that that'll happen when people are not like really, sh they're not comfortable with what they're doing and they'll just put a lot of um, just spaces and they're like, wait a minute, not right. That's usually it. So fill it in with something, whether it's dark brown or eventually light brown, fill it in with something. And you might even find that there's sort of a connection from the brown. Uh, one rock goes right into another one. Think about that a little bit. That might help too. Okay? But remember, the bottoms of them are all relatively flat. Okay? That will help if they're curvy on the top and flat on the bottom. And I will suggest that if you've been doing some pictures, try putting um, one or two of them in a frame, like I did for my mom for her birthday 
framed up a whole bunch of her pictures, and they are just like adorable. And they're a priceless heirloom now. Priceless. Treasured. Treasured heirloom. Whether you're 88, like my, my mother, or whether you're eight years old, whatever you're doing with your own hand is priceless and treasured. I know lots of kids, kids do pictures in the classes and the grandparents fight over them. I've heard about it. All right, so what, I, what I'll do too is I'll like kind of squint at my rocks and kind of squint at the other rocks and see if there's kind of, um, you know, something similar. I mean, there's quite a bit of dark brown right here. I'm not even sure I have those rocks, but that's a little trick to it, okay? Getting there, junk poo, all right. I did this too, oh I know, um, with the, it was like a, um, a bunch of people that work for Amera, the electric company, and we had a, it was actually this time of year, a couple of years ago at Blaze upstairs, had a little luncheon and then they had a painting class with me. And, and um, Justin's brother, Justin Cross's brother, now I can't think of his name. Chris, no? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. No? He's funny. I can't think of the name. He, um, he was there. He's funny. Hmm. There we go. Yeah, I mean, everybody was. So a little competitive. They could, they got like serious about it. Okay. So with my black and white rocks, I'm going to use that charcoal to be the lighter color. Okay. And I'll get it kind of dark. And then if I want, I can take my eraser and kind of pull a little highlight out of there. If it's if it's not as dark as I want, I can just color the dark spot. A little more that'll give me a little more charcoal and I can spread that on there okay so think about flat on the bottom nice and dark be heavy-handed about it there we go. okay all right did you already color yours in? oh you did oh that's a nice color I like that's that I'm actually going to try a little of that too. Where's the reddish? Oh, here's one right here. She's got, I'm going to copy Veronica. She's got a little, so in between, you can go right from here, a dark color, right to a light one, or be maybe you want a third color. Um, and they have kind of a reddish, especially if you go down in Maine and you go to the, um, the pink, isn't that what they call it, pink granite? Things you don't know. That's a lot. That's a lot of things. Well, how, how humble of you <laughs> with your advanced degree to admit you. He has a specialized degree, which out. means I know a lot of stuff. I don't know a lot about most things. <laughs> just a lot about one thing. Oh, this is a lot. The white will mean more, the white you've left behind in the water is going to mean more if you have colored in all the other stuff. So just sort of keep that in mind. Get right to the edges. Go right over, you know, the dark color you have. Take your light one and kind of go right over that. Use that to, to blend. 
I don't know um, what most people are using for colors. I know a lot of people use colored pencils. And the thing with that is make sure you're using a pretty small piece of paper because you really have to color a lot and add a little point. It takes a smaller piece of paper to you know, get something done this quickly. Um, if you're using pastels, you want a bigger piece of paper because they're kind of clunky. It's hard to get like a lot of sharp points to it and stuff. Okay? All right. So let's get a shoreline in here. You know, pick whatever you want to, to be your... Um, uh, your, uh, your sand. Okay, maybe you want two colors. Um, I want something else besides this on board with it. Use the golden rod. Well, it's kind of the same. I'm going to use some white. The only thing we have left to do are, are a little bit of maybe some shells on the beach and the trees. So let's do let's do the um, we'll finish up the beach here. So take it doesn't really matter what you do. You can have just a plain smooth beach, and if you're going to start um, make some marks, start near the rock because it will kind of make sense before you put something right in the middle. I know sometimes people want to draw like footprints and um, just just remember if you're doing footprints they need to be pretty small because and you don't need to show all the toes and all that kind of stuff and you also you don't you can't really just have one set of footprints unless somebody just jumped there right so but if you want that sense of that you have to kind of stagger the lines or whatever but it, Whatever you want to do, if you're not sure about it, do it lightly, and then you can always make it darker if you like how it came out. But if you make it really dark, and then you're like, eh, you know, you can always cut that part of the paper off, I guess. But um, just a few little marks will look a little, you know, drag it around a little bit. That might look a little bit like seaweed. What else would we have? Little tiny, shells. yeah, little tiny shells. Shells. Where's the? Oh, it's you know, it's just um, maybe a little side to side, a little something here, a little wiggle. Maybe don't think that much about it being anything and just think about marking a little bit. Kind of in the little clusters, I guess. I've had people draw shells on there. But they have to be really, really little, right? You wouldn't be able to see like a full shell unless someone picked it up and then dropped it perfectly hard. on yeah, the sand. Yeah, and... Um, you might get a little something by the water, like where the tide went out and left a little bit of seaweed behind. I don't want to go to the ocean. Yeah. Ruby and Daphne go to the ocean. Yeah. Bring them. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I didn't do it down here. Veronica. I do your job. I wasn't watching it. To remind me to not forget. Yeah, you were here when I drew all over the black and white one with the color. I was. Stop me at all. Was I? I was. I think it was I, multimedia. It was, no, both was, of, it was both of you. Not the windmill. The yes, windmill. No, it's me and The windmill Daphne I did at home. Was that me? Yeah. Oh. But I was watching. <laughs> I didn't notice. Were you wa oh, you, weren't, you didn't notice? You weren't like, oh my god! Oh, she made me. Spots, their little shells, some squiggle, squiggle. Maybe, maybe, maybe Christina's putting some uh, uh, labs. Maybe. Rosalinda and uh, the beach. It's not. Is it Luna? No. no. Lila. Lila. 
Layla. 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 Um, all right, let's do these trees, okay? So get a nice, really dark brown, dark green, um, a dark green and a dark brown. And then maybe that kind of olive green or maybe even a lighter green, okay? Because, you know, the more greens you use, the better. I've got this, I'm gonna take this, um, and where's that? Where's that? Oh, you have it? Here's an olive. Oh! very dark green because remember all of this is dark okay you want to fill it in that's how that's going to look interesting because this is dark like this I mean you could be thinking that maybe right in front um, maybe you got a little bit of grass and the trees are in the in behind the grass if you want but it's dark Okay. Let's go right along, make a smooth line across the top of the rock though, because the grass doesn't grow out of these kind of rocks. Okay, like that. So it's pretty dark, but it's not as dark as it is here. So I have to get that in there a little bit more. Okay. And Start down low, but I don't want to go more than halfway up the tree before I start thinking about the shape of the tree. Okay, so don't get too far. Put that in there. Okay, and then, um, you know, remember we've talked about this before that your fir tree is not a cross section of a fir tree with like a brown line and like green sticking out on the side there's branches that are coming forward, okay? So in the middle here, you want to be a little thicker, right in here, okay? I'll do a little bit with this dark, dark blue, and then I'll switch over to the green, okay? And it's hard, you don't have to, we're not drawing it so carefully that you have to show this foreshortened branch coming forward, but you have to be heavy-handed in the middle, okay? And then I will take the green and do a little more of that. Just don't lose all of the white all together, because that's what's so beautiful about this one, is that kind of light dance of a tree there, right? And then at the end, if you've gone it so that, say you went like this and the whole thing is a point at the top, Take a little bit and just drag a little up at the top, maybe make a little V that goes out so you have that little point. That's a nice thing to have for the silhouette of this tree. And in the middle where the two of them meet, you've got to get pretty dark right in there. Okay? There we go. Um, so, So uh, if you would like to leave a donation, there's a link right below the video and you can just click on that and you can leave a don donation for as little as a dollar and then I know that you're watching and that's really nice. And um, I'm also going to do a class on Tuesday. Um, I, have to, I have to do these trees down here. Um, on oh. Tuesday, I'm not going to do it at 10. I'm going to do it, I may not do it at all on Tuesday, I'm not really sure. I have to go see my doctor for a physical to get my checkup, my mammogram. Um, <laughs> Check out those tits. that fun? fun? This is definitely an adult class. Um, and <laughs> so I don't know about Tuesday. It's usually something simple for kids that are home that might want to follow along or just somebody that just wants something to listen to for a little bit. And, and then about Thursday, and then next Friday again, I think I'll be all set. I'll probably be back here next Friday. Um, I have something in mind. Hmm. I think. Something, yeah, something good. Something good and important. Um, but I'm also open to any suggestions. 
What else do I need to say? Anything? Nope. Oh, so this one, if you're doing this too, I think one of the things, maybe you need to look. Look at yours right now before you're done. Yeah. I I'm going to get that anyway, and I'm going to take a picture of that. So oh. Is see see what that look this one looks like right like this right now and then when I take this and I kind of add a little water shadow reflection whatever do you see how it starts to pull the rock into the water a little bit so get a little something along the bottom of your rocks to kind of pull them in there okay because you don't want them to look like you want them to look like they're in the water not just sitting there. Okay. Good? Mm-hmm. Did I forget anything? No. Um, no. Um, I'm going to repost the class that I did, although I looked miserable, I was very sad because I'm all by myself with nobody fun to like talk to. But it's I did four examples of um of male dad portraits or whatever or whatever for Father's Day. So um, I was thinking what would be really fun would be to sort of either watch it and then like kind of use the technique and actually look at your dad and draw pictures. I think that that would be really funny. Okay. You guys should do that. I could draw Michael. You should draw your dad. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'll repost that, but it's also on YouTube already, so you can you can find that there and do that, and then or you can make a little card or whatever. But it's got some little tips on how to do portraits. So go ahead and find that, and um, I'll give you a close-up of um, this shoreline here so you can, you can fine-tune your picture. Hey, Vicki. Hey, Cam. David Gifford. Did you see that, Tim? David Gifford? That's Maddie Gifford's dad and Bailey Gifford's dad. Anne-Marie. Oh, I miss you. Oh, Jeff Dufour, future politician. Michaela Brown. Oh, Vicki. My mother, Christina, Daphne, Bettina! Bettina should show us what her um, drawing looks like compared to her painting. I had that one. All right, thank you so much for watching. That's mine. That's a little black and white. Um, have a nice evening. Don't forget to put your fan on.